Welcome to the Fun Facts Club. Today, we will be discussing some fun facts about the amazing South Korea that you probably never knew. But first, please don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and will be much appreciated. Okay, let's begin. If you are ever in South Korea and have the hankering to shop till you drop, not to worry, one of the citizens' favorite pastimes is spending money. In fact, it's not a nightlife that stays open until the wee hours. While restaurants and bars are closing up around 11 p.m., on average, many shopping malls are still going and seeing customers until 4 in the morning. They even have the biggest department store in the world. Shinsegae is over 3 million square feet. And don't worry about if you have cash, or one, as currency is called in South Korea. They are also big credit card users. While it might not be as commonplace here in the United States, in South Korea, having plastic surgery is something a great deal of the country has done or will do when the time is right. In fact, you might be the odd one out if you haven't had any work done on your face. You can barely go anywhere without seeing a cosmetic clinic or at least an advertisement for one detailing some of the most commonly requested procedures, like double eyelid surgery, jaw and chin reduction, and nose jobs. Plastic surgery is for both men and women alike, really anyone who wants to enhance their looks. And it's not just natives that flock to surgeons, many people come to South Korea from all over the world, specifically for the purpose of getting cosmetic surgery. Well, not everywhere but robots are very popular in South Korea. They have the highest density of robots in the world. Robots are not being only used in factories, but also as prison guards, waiters, or teachers. In South Korea, it's not just women or performers who generally make their faces up. In the land of the morning calm, almost 20% of the male population wears makeup. Monetarily, that amounts to almost $900 million spent per year. And you might just get some cheese, which wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, of course. But if you want to get everyone to smile for a photo in South Korea, you need to say kimchi, a pickled cabbage side dish, instead. The border between North and South Korea, as established in 1953 as a result of the Korean War, is known as the Demilitarized Zone, or DMZ. It divides the Korean Peninsula in half. It is also one of the most dangerous borders on the planet, as it is heavily patrolled by armed military personnel and even features live landmines. If you were to try and cross it from either side, you'd be shot. It is over 150 miles long and two and a half miles wide. The way of the fist and foot or Taekwondo, began in Korea, close to 2,000 years ago. It the first form of martial arts self-defense, and today it is the national and most popular sport in South Korea, and became an official part of the Summer Olympics in 2000. Here in the United States, we use all kinds of different colors of ink in our writing. While it is most professional to use black or blue ink, especially for formal writing, Americans are not shy with other colors, especially red. However, this is not the case in South Korea. If you see a name written in red, it's a pretty bad sign. It signifies that a person is dead or on the way to being dead. You may have seen pictures in history textbooks depicting individuals in South Korean history with beards, some of them very long. But today, a man with a beard is considered dirty and unkempt, no matter how groomed his beard may look. And this isn't just about what a potential romantic partner might think. Wearing a beard might just deter you from even getting a job. No matter if you were born on the same exact day, at the same exact time, in the same exact year, South Koreans will always be older than you are. How is that possible? Well, when South Koreans are born, 
they are already considered one years old. Additionally, children age one more year when the next Lunar New Year occurs. So, even though you have some of the same birth statistics, sometimes South Koreans are up to two years older than you are.